have one here is a useful result and I've already used it in a previous video given events a b are statistically independent prove that not a and not b are independent right we notice that this question is of the form hypothesis implies conclusion so given this if this is true that means that is true that's what this means we can do it in two ways we can start off with the left hand the, the statement p and deduce q or we can start off with a bit of q and use some information of p to show that the statement q is true so let's do both for that uh, I'm going to need these three results all right so let's write down what we need to show that's what we're given by independence with a and b independent then that means this holds and this implies that the complement are independent complement of the two events so we're starting on the left hand side strategy one we simply use this entire statement so that's what I'm doing now and I'm using one to substitute for probability of a intersection b just rearrange this thing here to give us this or I'm using p subscript a as well to denote probability of a and, and uh, it's quite obvious how I'm using this notation right it's because my pen is sticking and uh, it's not moving smoothly very annoying today so um, anyway let's continue show must go on so then this is that my right hand side does not change now I need to introduce complements of the events and you know that you can get that if you do one minus property of an event gives you probability of the complement of that event so I rearranged this to get probability of a union b by itself and then what I do is multiply both sides by minus one and then add to one to both sides and that's how I get this line this is this I think I needed four as well let me just write I'm using this quite a lot I didn't write it down probability of a equals or pro probability of not a equals one minus probability of a, a result you all know okay so I'm using that quite a bit so here I'm just using that now the left hand side this to this is using De Morgan's law and then the right hand side there are four terms matches this so multiply this these two out and give me that and this is probability of not A times probability of not B okay so that was method one method two let's start from the right hand side and we need to use the hypothesis somewhere in the proof we start off part of the statement left hand side we we'll start off with start off with this bit of the conclusion alright and the similar steps so the first line that's the Morgan's law this the complement 1 minus the complement is the pro 1 minus probability of an event is the complement probability of the complement this substitute here and in red this is where I've done used the condition that's the condition in that hy that's the hypothesis and then if you make that substitution you realize it's just the same line as we saw in the f first proof and so the result follows good right uh, remarks to finish before I smash at my pen is um, we've done here P implies Q question to you is does it work the other way if I give you Q does that imply P ie if complement of A and complement of B are independent does that imply that events A and B are independent and the answer is yes you do have to think very hard so why is because if you just relabeled these not as like C and D then this will become now not C and not D and you've basically you've proved it already so this is 
what they call a necessary and sufficient condition is if and only if so we can say that a and b, a and b are independent if and only if the complement of a and complement b are independent so that's a more just that just um, stretching out the statement I can say something more uh, more uh, nothing I mean that if and only if conditions are better than p implies q p implies q means that p is necessary for q I mean p is sufficient for q but there could be other things which are sufficient so if you find some a condition between two things that are necessary and sufficient i.e. if and only if that's a lot more that's a lot better okay guys that's all